Hello again. In this video we're going to take a look at how we go about constructing the sketch plane cube. Give you an idea of how to proceed with that project. Uh, we'll move through this pretty quickly so you may want to pause it at various times and then go try it in Inventor for yourself. Uh, here at the beginning or welcome screen on Inventor I'm going to choose uh, to make a new file here. And then as I'm doing that You'll see we want to begin with the standard.ipt file for an inventor report file. And as that loads, I want to be sure that I review all the dimensions and uh, various features that are on Sketch Plane Cube so I know what I'm going to be putting in place there. This would be a good time to look back at the uh, assignment file to double check those items. When this comes up, I'm going to go to my browser. I always like to begin this one by placing a new sketch on the XY plane. So that's where I'll begin as soon as this loads up. So my IPT file is loaded here. I'm going to go to my browser and open origin folder. On the XY plane, I'm going to right click and create a new sketch. And as that process is one of the things I want to notice is right here on the view cube, it has me turned toward the front, which is where I want to be. I'm going to begin by doing the cube section with my rectangle tool. I'm going to come over and just approximate square. Right click and say OK. Grab my dimension tool. I'm going to dimension this vertical side to two inches and this horizontal side at the bottom here to two inches. So I have a square. Finish my sketch. I like to go ahead and put this in home view at this point. And then I can extrude always like to go out the back so my sketch is on the front two inches and say OK and I now have my cube. I like to go ahead and click home view again so it brings it back to the center of my graphics window. All right at this point I want to come over and on the front surface I'm going to right click make a new sketch. This is where the cylinder is located so if I choose a circle tool draw my circle. You see right here I didn't put that in the center but I can do some adjusting with my dimension tool. First of all I'm going to get my size on that one. That's a one inch diameter. And then the distance from my center to this vertical edge right here is one inch. And the distance from my center to this bottom edge is one inch. And that will move that directly to the center of that surface. I'm going to finish my sketch. Once again we'll extrude. I'm going to have to click inside the circle this time and I want that to come out half inch, 0.5. Alright, that's good. This side, right click, new sketch. This time it's a square. So I'm going to draw my square. Same thing I did before. Dimension, vertical, one inch, horizontal here, one inch, and then from this surface to the back is a half inch, and from this one to the bottom edge is a half inch. Finish my sketch, extrude, square surface and that's coming out a half inch and since that was the last dimension I used it's still there and available for me so I can say OK top surface new sketch this one is a circle and dimension it one inch and from 
the center to this edge was one inch. And from the center to this edge right here is also one inch. Putting that in the center of that top. Finish it. And I'm going to extrude to remove the material. Choose my profile. You can see it's trying to add material, but if I look right here, this second tool down, my set of tools in the extrude window is cut. So it'll remove material, and in the extents section, I always change this to all. I'll remove it all the way through to the bottom. When I say OK, I then come over and choose the top on View Cube. You can see there that the hold was all the way through. There's my sketch plane cube finished. I'm going to save that. And you'll be saving this to your H drive. And I have so many things on mine, I have to choose maybe another spot for that. But you save it to your H drive. Sketch plane cube my three initials and my class on there and I save it my answer yes to this question while you're at this point this is a good time to get this prepared for submission in the LMS to do that I want you to save this one in another file format this one is going to be save as back that up there. Let's do it this way. Save as and a little arrow out to the side. We're going to do a save a copy as. And then once you get in here, down at the bottom of this window, save as type. You select that. There's a whole set of types that you can save this as. We're going to save this as a looking for my file type in here. A dot WF file. And then we can save that same name on there in the same place. What will happen is that file is actually a little smaller from a memory standpoint and it'll be a lot easier to load and open in the LMS when you submit it. You can see there in the background that Inventor is opening an Autodesk design review file, which will give me kind of a preview of what uh, my submission will look like in the uh, LMS. So, at that point, you just need to be sure that you open or that you submit the .dwf file when you submit this in the LMS, and we'll be in great shape. Hope this helps, and uh, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, there we go, the submission. still processing and you can see that showing up in the background. That's what it would look like when I submit it into the LMS. Hope this helps you and as always good luck with it. Let me know if you have issues.